Hey, you rely on them to get them to get you where you need to go, but are you giving them a, a proper home? Coming up next on your morning, we show you the importance of choosing the right shoes for your feet. And we'll help you pick one out for any occasion. You're watching your morning on CN8, the Comcast Network. Well, Cinderella may have been the exception to the rule with a shoe that fit her perfectly. A good percentage of us are actually walking around in shoes that are too small, too tight, or just not right for our feet. And the result could be permanent damage to your feet. Dr. Lee Cohen is a podiatrist and also a consultant for the Philadelphia Eagles, and he joins us to talk a little bit about the right shoe. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Yes, it's great to be here. Um, first question, do people have two different size feet, one on one that's maybe a half size bigger or larger? In most cases, you don't even know it, but you do. And a lot of times, when you go to fit a shoe, Everyone puts on the right or everyone puts on the left and they end up leaving. This feels great. And they end up with one foot that hurts yeah. after they get home and one foot that feels great. I have to tell you, um, for a good majority of my shoes, one falls off my foot and the other feels tight. I, can, I, I feel like I need, I must be a whole size different. There is a possibility. And the most important thing is when you buy that shoe, the best time to buy a shoe is afternoon, late afternoon or evening. The foot swells maybe five to six. 10% during the day. Okay. It swells after exercise. So afternoon shoe buying is the way to go. Okay. You say you can tell a lot by the bottom of your shoe and how you're wearing the bottom of your shoe out. That's correct. And it's a secret. <laughs> but you just took me off that you had the worst setup. I know you. We, we're going to go through some graphics here. <laughs> we're going to show you so that you can go get in your closet. Take a look at the bottom of the soles of your feet. So here's the first graphic. Let me show you this. Now, what happens if you actually have a spot on the bottom of your shoe that looks like that? Okay. Now, this is very easy because in most cases, if you see this spot right in the center, it's yes. right in the center of the ball of the foot, it usually means your calf muscles are way too tight and you put too much pressure in the ball of the foot. Okay. When you do that, you rub the bones, and the r bones rub against the skin, and you end up with irritations in the front of the foot. Yeah. Now, sometimes my shoes look like that, but most of the time, they look like this one. And you, and you say, <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. And you say, that's the worst of all. Why? This is a very typical of a flat-footed individual. I am. There you go. Okay. See, I'm a mind reader and a you soul are. reader. And this will show you that sometimes the foot needs extra support and that can be done with a, an insole or sometimes if it hurts when you walk a custom insole okay it has to be made from the calf okay next one here is um looking like that Does, are those toes that we're seeing there that is a dangerous rippling effect to the top of the shoe you'll see this in the leather mm -hmm. in leather shoes and it also means the shoe could be too tight this is the first indication that the show the shoe is too tight okay or you have these things called hammer toes, the little bent-up toes. Where they curl up. Curl up. Got it. All right, our last graphic. Let's show you one more. Um, and there it is, kind of what I had, but on the other on side. On the other side. What does that mean? Most of this, this uh, shows is a high arch foot. And a lot of times this is normal, but if you're wearing a high heel shoe, mm -hmm. you're going to have to put something like soft in there to cushion you. Okay. So that's not a bad thing, but you need some cushioning, else you'll get that achy feeling at the end of the day with those shoes. Okay. So let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, um, we really do need to go get our foot measured, don't we? You do. Do it the right way. It's important. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Because shoes come from different countries and different lasts, which means the way the shoes are designed. So right. A shoe that comes out of Asia is going to be wider than a shoe that comes out of France or Italy, which is really narrow. Okay. So along with getting your foot measured, you also probably need to figure out from the bottom of your shoe what, what, how your foot is wearing. And then you've brought a lot of things. Tell me about some of these pieces well, you have here. Some of, this is something that we'll use for you in an athletic shoe that will correct the arch, hold it in a good position. Okay. It's got kind of hard sides there. Hard Not hard, sides but and, cushioned. Yeah. And it will stop the foot from flattening out. Okay. This is a similar thing for a high heel. Nice and thin, fits in, nice and cushiony. Mm -hmm. Now, if the shoe's too big, which we don't want, you end up putting pads in the arch, pads Boy, that's in the a big, heel. That's a big pad. Well, it's just a, yeah. an idea. Sure, but I could do that because one of my feet is, I think, bigger than the other. Okay. Right. And then there's a special little device if your Hi. shoes are really too small that you could put in. It's a gel device. Okay, and what does that do? This will support that outside walking in and make takes up the room in a, in a uh, if one foot's larger than the other. Okay. So you can use it on a right or a left, whichever you feel. What are the long-term effects if we don't start figuring out if our shoes really fit? 
Well, the long-term shoes can cause a deformity, but they certainly can make one hurt. Okay. So if you have a, a, an irritation on the inside of your heel or inside of the big toe, it's going to make it worse. So that's what we have to watch out for. Exacerbates the problem? Exacerbates the problem. Okay. So any of these shoes are good. Just make sure they fit well and uh, put a cushion or something in there if they don't. Go to your closet and see the bottom and see what happens that's here. That's a good one. Yeah. Thanks for being here. This is really fun. See, okay. Dr. Lisa Cohen, thank you. Okay. I have flat feet and one's bigger than the other. I knew I was a mess. <laughs>